Hey, today I want to talk about the secret to becoming a country based master and also give you one simple trick that will change your country based game forever. One, two, I'll see you three, inside the video. Four. Hey, it's James here from eBase Guitar and today is an exciting video because we are just in the final stages of starting to launch our brand new Country Jam backing track album over at eBase Guitar. And today I want to give you a sneak peek of what's inside and also demonstrate our unique groove level system to you so you can see it in action. So you may be wondering, what is the Country Jam backing track album? The Country Jam backing track album is a unique selection of 12 backing tracks tailor-made for the bass guitar inspired by some of the greatest country music artists in the world from Johnny Cash through to Waylon Jennings through to Patsy Cline through to Dolly Carton to modern artists such as Shania Twain and Zach Brown. So I'll tell you all about the Country Jam backing track album and the one simple trick that will skyrocket your country bass guitar playing in just a second. But first of all, I've got a quick favor to ask. I was looking at the eBass Guitar YouTube channel statistics a couple of weeks back and I was shocked to discover that 80% of people who watch the eBass Guitar YouTube channel on a regular basis are not subscribed to the channel. My aim over time is to get this down to 50%. So what does this mean in practice? The more people we've got subscribed to the channel, the more people who'll be watching it, and the more hands we can get great quality bass guitar content into. And also, the more videos and the more instructional content we can get out there. So I would love to ask you, just simply hit the red button, which is somewhere around this video, and the bell icon too, and you'll be the first to know when a new bass guitar video goes live on this channel. Now today, I'm gonna to show you one of the backing tracks from the Country Jam backing track album and show you the four groove levels associated with it. Now, this track is called Five to Nine and it might not surprise you, this is inspired by the great Dolly Parton track, Nine to Five. Now, this is just one of 12 backing tracks that you can discover on this backing track album. This album is uniquely tailored for bass guitar players so they can lose themselves in the hypnotic effect of jamming along to country bass backing tracks and really exploring the instrument. I'm going to put a link to the backing track album in the description below so you can either pre-order or order your copy and be the first to lay your hands on it. But first off, I'm really keen to show you how the groove level system works and also give you a taster of this track. So just before we get going, I want you to know there's a completely free PDF which comes with this lesson too so you can see all of the bass lines that we're talking about today written out in standard notation and tab. There's a link one, in the description two, below. One, two, three, four. level system is all about showing you how to take bass lines from simple to complex, laid back to intense. And that's what I'm going to show you throughout the four levels in the video coming up. Now, five to nine is inspired by the two main sections from the nine to five original tune, the verse section and the chorus section. And these loop round and round. Now let's talk about one trick which will skyrocket your country bass playing. And this will run throughout the whole of this video. This is note length. So when you play the A section, I want you to really lock in and notice how the notes are short and spiky, like this. But when we go to the chorus, the notes become long, like this. 
Now this differentiation is subtle, but it's absolutely critical and you hear it all over the place in country music and well and well beyond into plenty of other styles. So let's play you level one. So the first section will be chugging away on eighth note roots. And when we go to the chorus section, we'll be going into quarter note longer notes using the pattern root and fifth in the bass line. So make sure you check that out. Here goes. Let's talk about level two. We're gonna start ramping up the intensity now by creating an octave based bass line here. Now again, we have the note length idea going on here. So in the verse section, we're gonna be playing octave eighth notes like this. Really nice, short and spiky. Then going into the chorus, I want you to elongate these bass lines. So we end up with this root and fifth bass line, but using octaves. And then we start adding some little fills to get from chord to chord. Get to the B chord like that. Then we start adding in some little fills to get from chord to chord. So let me demonstrate going from the F sharp seven to the B seven like this. Etc. Then we have the classic run up that you would have heard earlier. We're going to add some octaves in there too. Like so. So let me play you level two through from beginning to end. And also notice the country violin on top in the backing track too. So let's move on to level three. Now this is all about the light and shade between short syncopated notes, and that means offbeat notes for the verse, and then longer note patterns in the chorus section. So let me demonstrate. So during the verse, we're gonna play this syncopated pattern, which sounds like this. So that's simply a note on the first beat of the bar, and then three offbeat short notes. Then in contrast, we hit the chorus section and we start using some simple triads like this. Now there are two ways you could finger that. You could play it in the, using the typical triad shape of the second finger. But what I prefer to do is I prefer to slide into it like this. So two notes are played on the A string in each pattern. So let me show you this in action and really listen to the difference between the A section and the B section. Check it out.
To wrap up, let's move on to level four, the final groove section. Now, the wonderful thing I think about modern country music is it starts to transcend many genres of music and take influences from elsewhere. So what we're gonna do right now is add in a more funky syncopated 16th note bass line, which sounds like this for the verse section. <laughs> And then we're gonna run that through the different chords in the verse. Then we're gonna develop this bass line into the chorus and it sounds like this. Don't forget, this is all written out in the free PDF which comes with this lesson. So there's a download link in the description below. But right now, I want to show you how this more funky bass line can work brilliantly across this sequence. So check it out. Guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed exploring the Groove Level system. So you may be wondering, where can you grab your copy of the Country Jam backing track album? So I'm gonna put a link in the description below this video. If you're watching it before you have launched it, you can pre-order your copy. If we've launched it and this video has been around for yonks, you can grab your copy by clicking that link in the description below. But also watch the video all the way through there so you can hear a sample of each track so you know exactly what you're grabbing. So cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com and I will catch you next week. <laughs>